This is part five, finishing it up. Today's tutorial video is a five part series. We're working on the Bernat Easy Going Knit Pullover. This is a needle knit pattern by Yarnspirations.com. This is part five, the final of our five part series. Welcome to Good Knit Kisses. We're all about helping you stitch your love and love your stitches. In this video, we'll be finishing our pullover. You need to have done parts one through four where you've got the front and the back. You've also made your sleeves already. You've set in your collar and woven in all those tails and you're ready to start sewing in the arms. And then later we will sew in uh, the edges or the seams of the sleeves and the front and back together to complete it. All you're going to need is some scissors and a wide-eyed tapestry needle. And of course your yarn that you're going to use for stitching. You can use the same yarn or you can use uh, another one uh, that's going to be a little bit stronger if you need to. Uh, as you saw in my last video, I'm using a contrasting yarn here that's a little bit stronger than what I was using. So grab your materials and we'll begin. This is first going to be a note about how much yarn you need to seam. So for each piece you're going to seam, say you're using a sleeve here, you're going to need to measure out this distance about three times and add tails. So generally I start and give myself a nice generous tail, start at the beginning, go to the end and count one, pull it two and three. And then I have a tail. I put an extra, um, you know, 15 inches or so on here. So I have a nice generous amount that uh, I know that I will have plenty and I won't be short. So you can go ahead and measure that out, uh, length out twice for your sleeve. And then when it comes to uh, sewing in the uh, sides of the seams of the, the sleeves right here, and then the sides of the front and back, you can do the same thing. Just measure this length out here, and then measure this uh, length out here, and then triple that, add in some for your tails, and you are good to go. So if you wanna go ahead and set aside all of your pieces and get ready, uh, and then join me here in a moment, we will begin on your first sleeve. Go ahead and flip to the last page. This is the third page. And these directions are last we have is sew in sleeves, placing rows above markers along cast off stitches of front and back to form square armholes. Okay, so that first part is what we're going to do right now. We have our panels open. I'm just going to refer to the front and back panels as panels. So we have the front and back panels open, we're at the side, and we put our sleeve right up to it. And these are the stitches above the stitch marker that it's referring. And these stitches here are going to go onto these stitches over here where these bind off stitches were. So that's the part it's referring here. And then we'll come along the top edge of these stitches along the top right underneath the bind off or cast off edge and go along the panel edge and come all the way down to the other side and sew these stitches in above the stitch marker along here, okay? So go ahead and grab your tapestry needle and your scrap yarn. Go ahead and thread your needle. I'm gonna pull that right up close so we can see it. Okay, so the first couple of stitches we're going to be going in through the back, but uh, all the other stitches are going to ride along top, kind of how we had done our original um, collar seaming up and everything. Okay, so let's go in underneath uh, where this first stitch is along the bind off, this corner, pull through and get a tail and just hold on to that tail. Okay, you can leave it long so it doesn't pull out. And then where the stitch marker is, it says to go above it, but I found that I need a little bit more of the stitches. So I'm just gonna use that particular stitch and go up underneath that and through the rest of that stitch along that first column. So these two V stitches, pull all the way through and go ahead and take off your stitch marker before you pull too tight here. Take that off. Okay, we've got that attached here. And now you can use this stitch marker or you can use one that's a little bit more bulky to see it, kind of like I've got right here. And go ahead and mark, before we move along further, mark the center of this um, sleeve here. Just fold it in half and you can mark the very middle of it. And this is just gonna make us um, 
have a visual, give us a visual of where the middle is, okay? And that's gonna be right along where the bind off is, okay? Let's go ahead and seam up these side parts and then we'll look at the panel edges. Okay, we are going to come back over to the panel side and pick up this uh, next column of stitches with the little V shape. So just pick up both of those two stitches, come under both, pull through your slack, and don't tighten too much because you are going to need to look at where your yarn is coming out of. It'll make it difficult if you tighten up your stitches as you go along. That's why we have such a long strand here. Come back over to where the yarn came out and you can go ahead and pick up one of these ladders along the side here. Pull on through and come back over to where the V-shaped stitches are. Go underneath both of those in the next column and pull on through. Okay, and now you see I've got a, a row two here. I'm just gonna go underneath that purl bump and then there's another uh, ladder that's underneath. That ladder is that part um, connecting the first row or the first column and the next column. So that's that yarn connecting. Just pull on through and that'll get a good connection. And then come back over to, this is what the fourth column is, go underneath there. And back to the sleeve and go underneath uh, where the, the yarn is coming out, go right into that hole and pull up and there is a ladder there. Go ahead and pull through. Okay, now we're coming over to where uh, this fourth, or actually this is the fifth column over. Go underneath those two. Okay, and then now we can uh, go back in here where our yarn came out of, follow it down, and there's nothing here besides one little last leg. You can go ahead and pull from that leg here. Uh, but if you want to go ahead and start turning, which I think this is a good a good place, go ahead and go underneath that leg of the stitch and come over to the first stitch where you can see the complete V. Okay, so I'm actually going underneath all three. We're going to pull through and we're going to turn this corner here. Okay, so go ahead and turn your work, make it to where you can see it kind of vertical put my hand under here so we can really see it. Okay, you see this corner here? This is where my yarn came out before. I'm gonna go back into that hole and come up and I have one of these, it looks like a pearl bump, but that's actually uh, the side of uh, the stitch. It's like a front ladder. I'm gonna come up underneath there and this first ladder that's behind it. So we're gonna go right through there. This is the corner, so I definitely wanna make sure it's reinforced. It's gonna get more wear. Okay, all right, now uh, we can really be truly be going vertical. So uh, we're gonna grab this next column here, go underneath these V-stitches. All right, and now you see how I have this uh, sort of raised, uh, raised line here. This is actually a, a column from the sleeve. It's kind of up above and the next row over has those knit one belows. Uh, okay, now look, that's on the sleeve. Go look over here and you see the sort of raised area is actually the row that has the knit one belows on the panel. We're going to try and line up these raised or upper uh, like kind of ridges uh, together. So these two are going to kind of line up and uh, we're gonna, sh I'm gonna show you here in a moment. But after you grab from this one, go over here and I wanna grab a couple of stitches right by here. So I've got a ladder underneath that uh, what looks like a pearl bump, it's actually not. We're gonna pull that ladder in this one to kind of line those up together and it puts these raised ridges lined up, okay. So uh, let's lay this down for a moment and look at your work and look at my work. Now, I am doing the small, extra small. Yours should be similar to this. You should have a bunch of uh, ridges and, and lines here. You can um, make sure that um, you eyeball first and see 
where these are going to approximately line up, where you should maybe be pulling from. So obviously on the sleeve side, you can be picking up these V-shaped stitches, but on the panel side, you're going to be going in between and you're gonna be picking up the um, ladders, okay, these little bars that are in between. Sometimes you may pick up one or two on the panel side and over on this the uh, sleeve side you can always pick up the two with the V so you may have to space them out if yours lines up like mine uh, does with these kind of columns lining up you can try and line them up this way let's see I've got these two lined up you can see that these line up these two these two these two these and keep going you can see them all lining up you can see that lines up and then it goes to right here. But my halfway point is in the middle here, so this actually needs to come down. So at some point here, I'm going to need to um, have them be off a little bit and we have to do what's called ease the fullness. You can see that maybe I have to uh, grab a few more stitches from this side than I do this side. So some of this is going to have to be eyeballed on your work. It may be that you have a little bit longer here than you do here. Mostly it's fine, but I need you to see that your work may be slightly different from mine. So uh, I'm just going to show you some of the basics and then if you find once you get to this point that it's not really uh, lined up uh, properly, you may have to pick out your um, you may have to pick out your yarn and line it up. If you have to grab a couple of extra stitches, I would do it kind of in the middle here or down here at the armpit area rather than try and bulk it up at the very top where the shoulder is. Okay, so uh, just continue going up. I like to put my hand underneath here and go right underneath these two. So I'm on this what I'm calling a lower area. So I'm going to do two here and then I'm going to come across that was just the tail that you saw. I'm going to come across over here and I'm just going to pick up one bar here. Okay, and then I come to this upper area. See, it goes with this upper sort of ridge. That's what I'm calling it online. It's not really a technical term or anything. Pull it through. Come over here and you can see where that pearl bump. I'm going to go through that bar there. And I may not always pull two but uh, in this case I am. We're going to come back over to this side over here. And this is a lower area. So I kind of say in my head lower, lower. And so I'm just going to pick one over here on the panel side. Sleeve side I'm picking up two on that upper ridge. Remember it's upper because it's kind of raised. And then come over here to this uh, row over here where it's upper, so it's raised. I'm going under two here. And come back, say lower. And in my head I hear lower, and then I know I need to do a lower number, which is one. Just picking up one of these bars. And it kind of helps me keep it spaced. Okay. So just continue until uh, you come up to about halfway and see if everything's lining up properly. Properly, If it's not, just add an extra stitch on either side that needs to be lined up and then continue moving to the midway point. Pause your video, meet me here, and we'll look at it together. See you soon. Okay, I am at the halfway point and uh, I have my ridges and everything lined up. This one happens to be the very center one. There was 11 on this side, 11 on this side, and this is very in the very center. So I have this lower part here that I just attached to the uh, uppermost uh, two ladders up here. And I'm going to go ahead and take my stitch marker off. And I've gone underneath the first stitch in that column here, and I'm just going to need to go on the other side of that um, bind off here, that's that shoulder seam. And we're just going to get a good connection, make sure we're going in between still. You've got to make sure everything is lined up in the same uh, edge that you did over here, or else you're going to see your yarn uh, sticking through, or it's going to just kind of pull and not be quite lined up. Uh, so go ahead and go through here. I'm going to pick up two bars to get a nice good connection at the shoulder, pull through, and then continue on. Uh, this is my lower section here. I want to connect that in before I get to the next one, which will line up to this one. 
So come through here, grab one more ladder. And then I'm back into my regular pattern. And again, keep assessing it as you go uh, on down, okay? So continue uh, working your way all the way down. Pause your video and I'll meet you at the end where we're working back uh, down, kind of upside down as you were before. And then we will pull this and tighten it up together. See you soon. All right, we're down at the end here and I've just done uh, one of the raised or upper areas. We're gonna go through this column second to last. Pull on through and got another ladder I can get here and we're going to go in the corner so I'm going to go ahead and grab that stitch there reinforce that instead of just grabbing one and now I can turn the corner and we're going to go uh, down through this stitch here because this is the last one over we can go because there's one column left so I'm going to go down through that hole on the sleeve uh, where we just came out of and I'm going to turn my work so we're down here and we're going to pull up and grab one bar from here and then come around here and grab two okay so this is let's see that's half of this one go ahead and grab the whole of this next one here so I'm under this bar and this one so there's that v-shaped stitch going this way and then I've got kind of half one that I had pulled through so I'm just gonna go ahead and complete that and come back around here go down again pick up one bar Come around and pick up the stitch here on the edge on the sleeve side come to the panel go down through where I was before pick up uh, this bar here go to the panel again pick up uh, this stitch here go back to the sleeve Okay, so I've got one last bar, which is where that stitch is on the edge. I'm going to go up just through that bar there and then go through this last column here where the V-shaped stitch is. Okay, and then uh, I can come, uh, I'm going to go back down through where that bar was before. Um, and then that will let me go through these stitches here on the side. So I'm just going to go all the way to the back. Go ahead and take off the stitch marker. And then I have this last stitch left. I'm just going to come uh, where it came out before, where I would have gone in to pick up another stitch. But I'll just go all the way to the back and pull that tail through there. Okay. So now let's turn this around. We don't need our um, tapestry needle anymore. And you can see my seam. So we're just going to take our two strands on the ends here and pull on them. And I'm just going to pulling this one first like this, pulling this way until I get past, past this curb. Passing the curve here and it's tightening here. So now I can hold this one and start pulling from this side over here. All right, so pull here, keep going. So what I'm doing is I'm pressing down, giving it a little bit of attention We'll come through this side. Let's do it over here. We're just going to give it tension all the way to where our seam is. That way we're not uh, in jeopardy of breaking our strand. I also want to make sure that we're not pulling too tightly and it puckers up. If it's if you're having a problem, you can uh, take these stitches here and tug on them and make them tighter at the middle and then pull on the strands to pull it outward. So. I could keep going, but just in case, I want to make sure that I'm not going to um, risk pulling it too hard because it is rather thick yarn. Okay, so now I know that that's nice and tight. I'm going to go ahead and pull. this yarn again there we go and I got that one on through do that over here all 
It's just a little too far away for this one, so I'm going to go ahead and just mess with it. So you can kind of keep playing with yours. I'll finish mine up. Pause your video when you're ready to uh, work on the panels. See you soon. I've uh, pulled those tight and cut my tails to a manageable size, weave those in and repeat it on the other sleeve, uh, the other armhole, and pause your video. When we come back, you'll work on seaming up the last of these edges together. See you soon. We're ready to sew the side and the sleeve seams. So we're going to start at the bottom of the main panels with the ribbing. To start our seaming, let's work on the two panels and we're putting together the ribbing section first. And because this pattern ends with a knit on the end of both ends, we actually need to marry these up to each other to continue this knit purl, knit purl look. So what we're going to do is from uh, one edge uh, on say this side here we have the selvage edge and we're going to pull it apart and we're just going to uh, come up through this first ladder this first bar uh, right here above the uh, cast on so we're going to come up through here and pull through and get a nice little tail okay and then we're going to come over to the other side and on this side, we are going to skip this um, selvage edge and then the purl row, and we're gonna go alongside uh, this side of the knit stitch. So it's essentially the same place on this side, but it's just gonna go two stitches in, and we're gonna go up through this bar right here. Pull all your stitches, or all your yarn through here. Make sure don't pull out that original tail. Okay, so I'm gonna have a bit of a gap here and that's fine, it'll get uh, pulled up. I kinda call zippering later on. And let's go over to the other side, pull that apart where the salvage edge is and you can come down where you had the yarn coming up before and you're gonna grab that first ladder and just pull up, pull all your yarn through pull that close a little bit, it's a little more manageable. I'm gonna come back over to this side here and find where that ladder was. We went uh, up through last time, so we're gonna go down through that hole and pull up at that next ladder, pull all your yarn through, and then go to the other side. So you're just repeating, zigzagging back and forth. Go right along here and pull up. So once we um, pull this together, it will make it match up to where it looks like there's a purl column and a knit column. So go ahead and go all the way up to the top here and I'll meet you up so we can um, put the pattern part together. All right, pause your video and I'll see you there. We're at the top of our ribbing. I've gone through this last stitch at this column here. We have one more on this one. Make sure you're not looking at the side of the stitch but you're looking at that little um, bar here. And then we want to um, line these next parts up for the uh, panels, but you can see we're over a couple of columns and we need to uh, get it uh, cinched in, right? So we're gonna come back over to this other side and normally I'd be coming up underneath here to continue. So I'm gonna go ahead and go underneath that part, but I'm also gonna go all the way underneath that entire stitch and come up uh, through where I need to be um, for the next part to set it up in the right place. So we're going down where we were before, go all the way under that entire column, under those two stitches, and then come up. Okay, and then now you can come over here, come down where that yarn was before, and come up with that one stitch, that one bar. Okay, now you can see that I have my, uh, that first bump of that raised edge, the specialty stitch. Okay, so this is the, the decorative patterned row. And then I have this lower part here, and this is the part we're gonna be stitching together. And then we wanna make sure our next decorative 
rows line up as we go along because these panels should be exactly the same. So you're always going to want these to line up. So we're just going to come back onto this side over here and I can pick up um, one bump at a time and zigzag across or I can do two at a time. It makes it just slightly bulkier um, for the seaming but I, I like it. I think it's I think it's just fine. So I'm going to pull up these two and come over to here and I have two here. And then now I'm on my uh, pattern row, come down, and we're just going to pull up at these stitches here. And then come back over and get these. Okay. And that's it. You're just going to continue just that way until you get to that uh, the armpit area up here, and I'll meet you there. Uh, before we go there, I want to show you, you can go ahead and start um, pulling on this yarn and managing this uh, extra tail so you have enough to go along. So I leave the first couple of stitches nice and loose, and then I'll pull up one here and pull on that and get the slack out. Now this is going to matter more when you're in the middle of the row, um, not here at the bottom. Let's go ahead and pull it though so that we just leave this length of tail and we're not actually making it longer. So see how we're just pulling it? It, has, it looks like a zipper. It's just zipping it right up like that. Okay. And so that's how it looks. It matches up that pattern. And then if you are using the same yarn, then um, you can just use this tail to weave in uh, this end here and connect it in that figure eight stitch that we did uh, before. Um, or if you need to add in, like I have to add in some scrap yarn like we did on part four for the top of the cowl, then you can come back afterward when you weave in tails and do it then. So go ahead and continue on up. Pause your video and I'll meet you uh, at the armpit area here. See you soon. I have gone ahead and uh, pulled all of my yarn up to this point and cinched it in. I've got it loose here towards the armpit. I'm uh, I, at the seam where um, one seam is on my left and one seam is on my right. Coming out, I'm just going to uh, go back in this last ladder here. Okay. Just one, one bar. And I have one more stitch over here before the seam. I want to make sure all my seams are nice and lined up. I like to keep them straight. So I'm going to go down and pick up this last bar here. There we go. And I can go ahead and pull that one tight. Okay. And uh, now we're going to just hop over this seam area. You don't need to go straight on through it. But now we're working on the sleeve here. Okay. So I'm just going to zigzag over here and find my column. So this is that salvage edge. I'm just going to go right into pulling these two ladders over here. And then come back over. And find in between my columns. I'm going to go through these two ladders here. Definitely want to go through two at a time uh, where this is all coming together. Okay. And now I'll just continue on in the pattern you were doing before. Go through a ladder and then come back over to the other side. All right, so continue working on yours, and I will meet you back up at the end. See you soon. You'll start noticing that where your stitches had decreased, uh, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to find the next stitch over, and you may have to do things a bit of an angle. So uh, make sure that your uh, raised ridges are lining up or sort of lining up. So when you're uh, when you're doing them, make sure that these sort of lower areas are kind of stitched up together and these top areas or ridges are stitched up together as you go. Uh, let's come to this one here. I'm kind of in the middle of these two. I'm coming over here and the last one I did on this side was at the top part. So now I'm going to go to uh, the middle here. Uh, I was in between uh, this row here. 
And so I'm going to come down through this stitch, kind of pick up these middle two, and I still have a couple stitches on the edge, and then work my way back over. And then normally I would go here. I'm going to go, and I still have two stitches. I'm going to go ahead and go underneath this stitch here, and I'm kind of angling to get back over. And then come back on this side, and I would come down and then up through uh, this part here. So I, I am kind of jogging over a column, and so that way these two ridges line up. Oops, run out of yarn here. There we go. And pull up. And then I'm coming to a spot where you can see I'm running out of yarn, but not really because it's all down here. So just go ahead and start kind of zippering this up and making sure that you've um, got that worked up and get, you can get your extra yarn up to the top. I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll pause your video, continue along. I'll meet you at this point. See you soon. All right, we're down at the other end where our sleeve is and coming up through where this uh, patterned row is we want to uh, come over to uh, this side over here and uh, the, remember this one is the one where we are going along the salvage edge and this other one is one where we're jumping over to this other column over here uh, so i want to come under here just like we uh, came from before go underneath here we're going to cross underneath that knit one below and then we're going to go uh, underneath that first stitch here to get us right next to that knit column okay so we're essentially going under like three ladders come back over here and now we're going to this salvage edge so we're going to pick up the first stitch that we see here and then come over to the other side and pick up that first stitch and that's that bar right along the edge and come back over and pick up the stitch and just keep going all the way down and then uh, you're just going to finish out with the yarn at the back and then weave in those tails pause your video as you need So from our last one, I'm going to go behind here and come down around here and pull through. And then now we can just pull on that extra part of the seam for that extra slack of yarn, kind of zipper it up. I call it zipper it up. And you've got a nice clean seam. Be sure and kind of pull back on it like this so that you're not... Uh, having any puckering in there and you can see this beautiful seam that lines up your whole pattern so go ahead and clip this uh, weave in the tail uh, finish your end and then work on the other side repeat that I hope you enjoyed making your easygoing knit sweater I really enjoyed working on this with you Please be sure and stay tuned for more videos from Good Knit Kisses. Click down below to subscribe and check out our playlist on our main channel for more knitting and crochet and loom knitting. We'll have the loom knit version of this sweater later on in summer 2020. Have a great day. Happy knitting and crochet. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us today where we help you stitch your love and love your stitches. See you again soon.